Hello everyone, today I'll be clearing Scorn of the Octopus and the Teacher Trial using only 3 to 4 star space units and your TMs. Now, the first thing you're going to need is Warrior Plank, it's going to be your cover tank. Next, so you're going to put it in your inventory box because you're going to need an actual 7 star Sims for this fight. Now, I've been dabbling around on the Japanese side on how to clear this trial using only 3 to 4 star space, but this trial is so difficult to survive against. It's almost impossible to do it without throwing some SD Mars on those units. So might as well use a regular 7 star scheme for this fight. Now, the first unit is going to be uh, Demon Ray. He's going to be the Provoke tank. I'm not going using his cover. He's built as a regular uh, defensive tank uh, with Fire, Thunder, Water, Wind, and Earth Resist. Now you're going to need a lot of defensive stats on your uh, provoke or your cover tank because uh, ultras has accuracy so you can really evade those our second unit is going to be barbaricia she's going to be um, su support chaining and also be using her imperil from her cooldown which uh, imperils by 120 percent so they can one shot uh, both ultras and typhon she's built with Thunder, Water, Wind, and Earth Resist, and also some uh, defensive, uh, mostly spirit equipment, and also with dual cast so that she can uh, do her spells. She's also going to be sealing the elements on Typhoon, which I'll explain later, and also uh, sealing Ultras for the uh, mitigation switch. I've also equipped Golem on her for Barstonga so that everyone can survive the AoE Earth attack on every two turns. Now the third unit is going to be Sid, he is going to be the damage dealer. Now I'm bringing two Sids for this fight. One is built with Demon Killer and the other one is built with Aquan Killer. Mine is with, uh, built with Demon Killer, with Water, Wind and Earth Resist. In the second fight, it's going to be a preemptive lightning attack. So, uh, but the Sids doesn't need to survive on the first turn, so I didn't put any lightning resist on uh, any of them. Our fourth unit is going to be Yuna, she's going to be our healer and also evoker. Now in this fight, you're going to need an ailments resist buff because uh, Typhon introduces a new mechanic called uh, debuffing ailments. So uh, if, uh, another unit you can bring is either uh, Folka or Mira. But since I'll be bringing Sylvie, she has her own ailments resist buff. So I'll just bring Yuna to heal and also to uh, speed up the Esper missions. And our final unit is going to be Sylvie, she's going to be buffing and also imbuing thunder to the Sids. She's built uh, as regular defensive as a buffer, uh, mostly spirit, and also with thunder, water, wind, and earth resist. I've also given her some uh, this last dagger with high type plus so that she can use her LB. And our friend unit is going to be the Aquan Killer build set. Both of them are built elementless because I'm going to be imbuing with Sylvie. With, uh, as you can see here, it's built with Water Wind and a bit of Earth Resist and Aquan Killer and Quick Leviathan for the uh, Aquan Killer Plus. Now in this fight, some units will be draining their MP by a lot so it's best if you have uh, some uh, MP restoring items like Mega Eaters, some Elixirs or the MP scrolls. Uh, you should also bring some uh, sealing items. Uh, so um, I brought a wind damage item and an earth damage item, and also some rabbits and gold needles in case uh, someone gets inflicted by the elements as you get the fight. Right, now in the first turn, Demon Rain is going to provoke using defend. Barbaricia is going to use her uh, uh, physical mitigation. Sid is going to revive the other Sid. Yuna is going to. 
cast uh, Barwarga and Kuraja. Sylvie is going to buff with her defense and spirit buff and also uh, remove the defense break that saw in the Marinia defense break. Now in this first wave, I'm going to uh, try to evoke at least one Esper Then I'm going to just uh, one-shot Ultras with the Icon Killer set Now Barbricia is going to dual cast Barstonga and And the win is I think it's a, yeah, it's way to win Light The Marine is going to defend and Yuna is going to cast Re Raves and Kiraja on Demon Rain. Now, every two turns, uh, Ultras will deal an AoE uh, physical gravity attack which uh, depletes everyone's HP by 60%. Uh, this is why I'm not uh, using Demon Rain to cover because if he covers, he's going to die even though when he's Re Raised. So, Sylvie can. Use her uh, elemental resist and also uh, her attack buffs to give some heavy sure of it. Next, the seeds are just going to defend. Now he has two types of uh, gravity attacks. One is Hailstone, which is just a one here, so Demon Rain can survive for that one. But there's another one called Tempest, which has like tornado frames, which uh, since it's a really long uh, uh, chaining frame, so it will just kill Demon Rain even though if I had all of those mitigations up. So now he's going to reapply his uh, Provoke using Defend. Fabricia is going to. Barbersia can use her uh, Cyclone Shield again, I guess. Uh, Yuna is going to heal and cast Barwarga. So we will reapply her buffs. And one of the seeds will cast Erosia um, a wound attack. I think because of you. Okay, uh, and I forgot to explain that how Ultras works in this fight. So he's going to be switching between physical and magical resistance. He'll be buffing uh, some elements and he's going to be imperiling some of the elements. Now, depending on which elements that he imperil, you're going to hit him with. Uh, the element that he barrel it two times, uh, twice every turn, so that he switches to the other resistance. So now he's immune to physical attacks. So when I hit him with wind or light uh, two times for two turns, he's going to switch to uh, a resistance to magical attacks and also change his imperil. If you hit him with wind, I'm guessing. Yeah, if it's physical and weak to win and light, if you hit him with win for two turns, he's going to switch to uh, magical resistance and uh, thundering peril. So I'm going to be using one of um, Sid's one of Sid's uh, win attacks.
I think I'll just be yeah I'll, I'll just um, one shot of this now now this is going to use is cooldown ready for the jump uh, Barbaricia will dual cast uh, Barstonga and a wind attack Demon, Demon Rain is just going to defend Yuna will cast Kiraja and Re-Raise on Rain now that's just going to be the rotation every turn Demon Rain is going to uh, keep using defend and Yuna is going to keep casting her Barwarga and Kiraja and Re-Raise on Rain Sit and give one of uh, I mean, Barbarisia for chain frames. Sit's going to uh, it's going to just defend. See if he was covering that Tempest, he would die regardless because uh the amount of attacks that he has. Uh, so now Rain's going to just uh, defend again. As you can see now that Ultras is weak to magic uh, resistant to magic attacks, now he uh in parallel with Thunder and Wind, which I'm going to attack using instead. Now he's going to prepare using his jump. Sylvie will Use one of the cooldowns. So some physical mitigation. Luna will uh, cast Kiraja and by whatever again. Barbarisia can use her physical condition and this set can just uh, defend. And yeah, uh, the Aquan Kill set will just jump. Trust to Yuna so you can use her LB next fight. Shilvi will. Uh, Yuna is going to heal up everyone. So we will give one of the chain frames to Sid. And Now 
And now the other both will chain And this will hopefully one shot Ultros Okay, in this next fight, I told you you're going to need to be sealing Typhon. So you only really need to start sealing on turn 2, which you're going to be need to use Earth, Wind, and Light damage on turn 2, 3, and 4. But I'll be killing Typhon by turn 4, so I just really need to use uh, Earth and Wind. So now, first, Yuna is going to use her LB to raise up. Everyone, Rain will use his uh, provoke. Mabricia will use her uh, cyclone shield, and Sylvie will give some uh, physical mitigation. And also the elements resist buff. Next, my Sid is going to use uh, Gary to jump, so it's going to use cooldown. Sylvie will cast one of her cooldowns. I'm going to use her uh, full all buff cooldown with. Elements resist. I mean, uh, elemental resist. Uh, Barbaricia needs to use her, her Stonga and also deal earth damage. Uh, oh, uh, there's no earth damage here. Uh, then she's just going to cast her Bar Stonga. And this is why I brought an earth item for this fight. So the other set is going to just use his, use his Gaia earth on the Typhoid. Human Rain is just going to defend while Yuna will just cast Kiraja and re raise on the rain. Right now, Barbaricia is going to use one of her cooldown abilities, which is which which is going to imperil, and also it does uh, wind damage, so that's going to seal uh, Typhon. Sid will, uh, my Sid will just use his true spine shadow dive on Typhon, but before that, Sylvie is going to imbue. Is going to be imbuing thunder to Sid and also be buffing uh, Demon Rain again. Where's the buff? Uh, and apply some Elements Resist since he died.
And now Sid is ready to use his jump. Uh, but before that, Yuna is going to uh, heal up everyone. And also with uh, Bar Waterga. Rain is just going to defend. And this Sid can just evoke uh, one Esper. Shift has it re-raise on that rain. Uh, I think we'll manage. First Yuna is going to just cast uh raise and curaja. Barbarisia, uh, I'm going to be casting the defense buff and the chaining abilities to Barbarisia and Sid. And these two will chain. And hopefully this will one shot Typhon. Right now, uh, I'm going to use these suits to try to recover. So, first I'll use all the ways in that one. Obviously, I will use more. User, uh, general meditation. Sylvie will cast for the And also we will
Excuse me, uh, you know I can just use a uh, and vanish or So we to just uh, use our big uh, what is this to go to the spur. I guess I can go to the wall by the kitchen. The mirroring is going to bend. Uh, so this will be applied back to buffs. I can try to help your expectation. Let's 
sure. Yeah, in this next round, I'll be part of them. So, the Aquan is going to start doing his uh, pull out, jump, so we can. Yuna is going to heal and cast Free Rays on the rain. Yuna is going to defend while Balencia can use her cooldown range to Arrow Lightning. Sylvie will imbue Sid with Thunder and reapplying back the buffs. Cobrisa will use uh, Pot's Physical Mitigation. The Sid will use True Spine Shadow Die. is LB Right now I'm going to use uh, Thunder, uh, I mean Earth from Rain and also uh, Holy from Luna and I'm going to be giving the chaining frames to give the chaining frames to uh, Barbarusia and Sid And this would hopefully one shot uh, Ultros. Okay, then so I'm just going to soft reset.
Now I'm not really confident that this will one shot or throw so I'm just going to just uh, land with So since that's roughly uh, that's 19%, so I didn't think that that would actually one shot ultra. So I'm just going to uh, keep dealing damage until 50%, uh, I guess. So Barbicia is going to cast uh, Barstonga. Sid will. Um, I guess I know he's just going to defend Rain is just going to Defend also uh, Yuna is going to cast a re-raise on him So I'm going to heal up Cast a re-raise Sylvie can use her LB to give some uh, barrier and, il and elemental resistance. Right now, uh, Yuna is going to use her Barwarga and heal. Yumarin is going to apply his Provoke. Uh, Barbicia will use her Storm. Uh, wait. Ah, uh, yeah, Storm Ward. So we will reapply back the buffs. Six can just uh, defend. Yuna is going to just uh, the usual heal on cast re raise. Rain is going to just defend. Barbicia will apply her Barstonga. The six will just defend while Sylvie can. give some. Barrier to elemental resist.
right now I'm going to start um, uh, trying to one shot him again so see, he's now weak to wind and light so I'm just going to be using one of the sets to use Aeroga Barbarisia will use Cyclone Shield, Demon Ray will use his Provoke Yuna can uh, heal and also deal the last holy damage uh, the other set can use uh, deal the other earth damage and Sylvie will reapply back the buffs I think now is the time to prepare to attack. Imre is going to uh, defend as usual, uh, Yuna is going to heal and cast Varwarga Barbrisa is going to cast uh, Firaga while Sylvie will reapply back the buffs The sets can start uh, use, using their cooldowns.
uh, next uh, Rain is going to cast Hiraga while Yuna is going to uh, use Kyuraja and re raise. And Barbaricia can use uh, her cooldown to imperil. Sylvie will start imbuing the sits. Now I'm going to apply some earth and give the some the chain or you know not earth. I'll, I'll just give some uh, chaining frames to Barbaricia and Yuna and some damage because why not? And Rain's going to use one of his Stonga in case um, the item doesn't register the earth damage. <laughs> time miss <laughs> time that poorly. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a soft reset again. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, give its chaining abilities to Barbusio and Yuna. Rain is going to uh, be ready for Skonga. And they can start chaining. And that should be all of the missions.
Right, so I'm sorry if the guide was a little messy. Uh, I didn't expect some of the turns to happen, so we like kind of delayed the fight. Hopefully, this video uh, can help anyone who wants to use anyone else other than uh, Esther. And I'll see you next time.